I've been telling a story for about 10 years. Uh, it started off being called The Naughtiest Girl in the World. And, uh, and I've been telling it in schools and libraries. And it's got better and better and better. And then I decided to change it completely. And it's not called The Naughtiest Girl in the World anymore. It's called Pandora. And I've just finished writing it. And I'm really happy with it. And, but I want to do it in black and white. Uh, and it's really a kind of a picture book and you don't really get black and white picture books. So I've decided I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it myself um, because I don't think I'm going to get a publisher interested in doing it in black and white. Uh, but if I do it in black and white, maybe I might find a publisher who's interested. <laughs> so it's what I'm going to call a catalyst edition, which is an idea I got from uh, the author Kez Gray. Um, so uh, over the next few weeks or months or however long it's going to take me, I'm going to do some videos uh, and keep you up to date on my blog with what it's all about. And I'll just give you a, a, a quick show of uh, where I've gone so far now. Well, this is the uh, first version that I did, The Naughtiest Girl in the World. And it says, I've read this. And maybe I've been to your school and you've heard me do this story. Uh, and there's the thing it's got in the middle is this little box that pops up and and the problem with that was that uh, the publishers who were interested in it at the time they were just about to have a meeting to decide whether to commission it and then the recession started and they kind of got scared so uh, so I thought well I'll find a different way to write it I was gonna I rewrote it uh, once as the uh, the naughtiest girl, she became a princess in a castle and there were dragons and things in a dungeon but I didn't like that and then suddenly I woke up in the middle of the night and I knew that her name was Pandora so um, and, and this was kind of a, a feel for what a cover might look like um, so uh, th that's what I've decided to do I'm, go I'm going to publish this myself online uh, on, on, with um, what do you call it uh, uh, on print on demand and I'm just going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to have to do it in the evenings on my <laughs> in my spare time because I've got plenty of other things to do. But uh, keep watching and uh, keep coming back and find out how it's going. And uh, maybe you'll want to buy a copy in the end. I hope so.